it's East Village where it's very condensed Ukrainian neighborhood distinctly different from uh, like other diasporic uh, stuff in New York like uh, you know Brighton Beach and New Jersey and and uh, Greenpoint so people there are, are very um, authentic in their own understanding of their identity you know they're very focused on it, way more than I was focused on it. So I don't think I ever saw Ukrainian folklore being more preserved and performed better than I saw it in diaspora. You know, I mean, I, I've been to Karpat and I've been to other parts of Ukraine where people took pride on their uh, display of their national awesomeness but here I saw something that just kind of blew my mind I was like wow shit man that's really some Ukrainian shit and I saw it for the first time in New York City or upstate New York like in Soyuzivka you know so it was it happens often actually any student of anthropology will always find that uh, diaspora is more of a preservational institution than than the land itself you know, it's often times like that. I got my clothing from stuff I found on my floor. And what was there is a very uh, messy arrangement of picking stuff here and there. And to put it in a very, in a more drastic way, it's like, I always had the taste for juxtaposing things. So, for example, like uh, punk rock, that it doesn't really go with any sportwear because, at least European punk rock, it's just it's completely against anything that's body fit. And I was kind of interested in actually smashing that together. In fact, I found American punk rock being closer to me in in the, in the spirit because I was an athlete in the past. So I was a you know long distance runner. So American punk rock was a lot more closer to me than the music, the punk rock that I knew from Europe, like Joy Division and The Fall and 
I started to know about and, 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 and things like that. So when I discovered Fugazi and Henry Rollins, I was like, that's my shit, yo. You know, because it's very, uh, uh, it's very dynamic athletic-wise as well. So I started making clothes that's just kind of uh, punk, sport, ethno, wear. I wasn't trying to become a, a musician. I was just pounding on some shit that was standing in the front of me. You know, when you're like 12 years old, you're just basically psychotic. And uh, it's a pretty good way to get the energy out. So whether neighbors hated me or not is was kind of irrelevant to my life. I mean, they probably did, but, um, and it continues to be so. The critical thinking, which is the root of all the judgment, is is a terrible way to live. A entire Western civilization is rooted in critical thinking, and it's a, a sure way to psychological um, mayhem. So, the faster you walk away from judgment of any kind that was started by Rene Descartes saying, you know, I think therefore I am. That's like, uh, it's like jumping off into Grand Canyon and flying and freaking out and thinking, why am I freaking out? Um, judgment is a very feeble way to go about your life. You know. It's a direct way of communicating um, if you ask somebody a question and they start immediately answering that question that's the way to go if there is some kind of uh, uh, detour from that that's already not on the right track you know so the channel of most authentic clear open communication is perhaps it is all about communication. Uh, the more open a person can get about, the more the most the more vulnerable person can afford to be, the more powerful it is. You know, the more defense there is, the more it gets bundled up and gets absolutely uh, paranoid and, and and destructive for if for everyone around. I mean, fear is a essential part of the human condition but you can't let that rule your entire psyche uh, because you're gonna have to basically die and then come back around and do the whole fucking thing all over again <laughs>
New York City, we have uh, some history with you here, you see?
would like to get precise and ask Professor to give us exact motherfucking frequency of quantum purple.
There is a place